Hello guys and very welcome to this video and to my channel. Today I will try to show you guys this automation system that I have installed together with my Solax 15 kW hybrid inverter. It's connected to a microcontroller and it is communicating via Modbus. And inside of this microcontroller I have Home Assistant and my installer have done some programming to it. So it will now trigger the charging and discharging of my battery and send that energy out to the grid. When the energy is expensive and then charge it back up again when the energy is cheap. And now we have a huge spike here this evening. So hopefully I will be able to capture this when it goes from just standing there and provide my house with energy and then still provide my house with energy but then throw the excessive power from my battery out to the grid when we have the highest price of course that's the idea anyway now we just have to wait we are still having around 40 minutes before this system will be triggered so here we go guys and as always very welcome and here is a screenshot from my phone and you can see that uh, in a second now, the system will start to sell power from the, my battery out to the grid. And uh, here we go. And the first we have a graphic error. It will soon change to grid and not point the power to the house. There we have it. So now I am selling power completely automatically from my battery out to the grid. And when that selling session is over, it watches the energy prices and will charge itself back up again during the cheapest hours later on. So this is the following night here and you can see that we have actually skipped some hours and charged those cheapest hours. So that's really great and done completely automatically. And the system here is uh, pretty smart because it knows how many kilowatt hours the battery needs there. So it calculates which hours is the cheapest and how much it will charge during those hours. And therefore we don't just charge one session that night, we just pick those hours that are cheapest at that night instead. It is now the following morning and it is time to sell that power that I did charge during the night here. And now it's triggered and it will uh, sell all the power out to the grid for two hours. And it is a little cloudy now in the morning here so we don't produce so much from the panels. So now we just have to wait here and uh, see if the system turn off itself later on. And uh, you can see that we are reaching the end of it here. So the state of charge is pretty low. My panels have uh, now started to send some power out. So we are pretty much maxing out my inverter at the moment. At 9 o'clock this uh, selling session will be over. So we can take a look at the settings for that. I started to sell at uh, 7 o'clock this morning and uh, I have decided to sell only 2 hours during a 24 hour period. So uh, yeah, here you can see the price settings for my battery. This is the costs uh, on my battery when I am using power from it. So uh, my battery has been pretty cheap. So that's why I only have 40 euro here. Normally you maybe will have 70 or 80 euro to these numbers here. Just to uh, calculate the degradation costs in the battery. And here is the tax. And this is the fixed prices for the energy. Like transfer fees and also kilowatt hour tax. And here is the extra money I get from every kilowatt hour I sell to the grid. So I have 60 euro in tax relief and uh, around 20 euro in net nytta as we call in Sweden. Uh, I, I sell power in my neighborhood so that's why I have some euros for that. And low price limit is when the prices go under 20 euro here. 
uh, my system automatically just will take power from the grid because it's cheaper than to take it from the battery. Right, let's go over to the main page here again. So any second now, it will turn itself off and uh, yes, it did that. Perfect. So now I am just uh, sending out power from my panels to the grid and the panels are sending power to my house, of course, or to my loads. And the battery is now just standing there. And you can see that we had a jump there in state of charge because this state of charge number here is a calculated one. So um, it takes its number from the actual voltage from the battery pack. And uh, therefore the state of charge will uh, be a little lower during those high loads that I have on, uh, on the battery when I am selling power to the grid. So great. Now it will be charging itself up during the evening here. We can see that we have almost free power. Uh, it's actually uh, 60 or something here, but that's the fixed prices for the energy here in Sweden. So that's why if the energy prices is completely zero, it will still show 60 something euro here. All right, that's it. So I just had to go down here and show you how much it sounds. And now for the first time, I am actually hearing the fan inside here. Normally it's completely quiet, but this is how much it will sound when it works on the highest load. Can you hear it? So that's absolutely fantastic if you don't want to have a lot of noise inside of your house. Maybe you don't want to have this in your living room anyway, but it's good to know that it is quiet. It's a little over 50 degrees right now and that's fairly okay I have to say because you have to remember that we are creating 15 kilowatt here, almost. So, thumbs up for this inverter, it's like a tank. So, if you are good at programming in Home Assistant, you probably can do all of this stuff yourself. I am not so good at it, so that's why I bought it from my installer, together with this frequency balancing, of course, that's the biggest thing. I mean, this selling and the buying energy to the highest and lowest costs, it don't give so much. The most money is in the frequency balancing there. But it's a great option to have this. Alright, that's everything for now, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe down below there if you want to see more of me and give me a thumbs up and then you maybe see me the next time. Thank you for watching, have a great day and goodbye.